Hey dudes, Turley Jerd here, and welcome to the first ultra wide video on my channel. Woof. After using the LG 25UM58P for the past month, I have to say that it is a really good quality product, especially for the price. I managed to get mine for 150 Australian dollars second hand, but they normally sell for about 170 to 190 dollars American. It is very sharp and displays great colours, at least compared with my old 16x9 monitor. This is because it is, of course, a higher resolution monitor, running at 2560x1080 instead of 1920x1080. Around the back, this monitor has two HDMI ports and a headphone jack, and it has an inbuilt menu that allows you to adjust all of the normal features that you would find in a monitor. And I have no complaints about its size either, although it is only 25 inches diagonally, which is quite small for an ultra-wide monitor. I have never found its size a problem. Here is a size comparison between this monitor and my old 16x9 one. You can see that the 16x9 one is noticeably taller, but like I said before, this really isn't a problem for me. But I do understand that some people like having at least a 29 inch. That's not to say that this monitor has no problems. The plastic it uses for its base is literally so easy to scratch. This is what my keyboard has done. And there seems to be this weird distortion effect on the screen's bezels when viewed from the side that makes it look like the bezel is quite a bit in front of the screen. However, viewing angles are really good, especially when compared to my old 16x9 monitor, and there is no noticeable yellowing of the screen when viewed at an angle. So how does it do in gaming? In short, great. Ultrawide monitors really are the future as they greatly increase your immersion in a video game. You can see so much more than you would be able to with a conventional 16x9 monitor. I have also found that my monitor at least can overclock to 75Hz, although this may not be guaranteed on all 25UM58Ps. Like I said earlier, the image is sharp, the colours are great, and the added field of view really allows you to get into the game. Unfortunately, Many games currently do not work with ultra-wide displays, as they are locked to a 16x9 resolution. And those that do work will most likely have some glitches associated with displaying an ultra-wide image. So if you make the switch to ultra-wide, then you will definitely need to do some tinkering around with the settings and games to get them to work in ultra-wide. However, there is a really simple program that you can install called Flawless Widescreen which allows for you to easily get a game to work for ultra-wide monitors. The link to that program will be in the description. Also, I recommend checking out WAF on YouTube, as he has done ultra-wide reviews on a bunch of different games to see how well they work. One thing that you definitely will see from switching from standard 1080p to ultra-wide 1080p is a performance loss. So I've decided to compile up some benchmarks just to show you what sort of performance loss you should be looking at. Thank you. 
So as you can see from those benchmarks, if you decide to switch to ultra wide, you should expect about a 20 to 25% performance degradation, which I'm not gonna lie, is a substantial amount. But I believe that the pros of ultra wide monitors really weigh out the cons here. Seriously, ultra wide monitors, I believe, are the future. If you, if you want to upgrade your monitor, if you're looking at upgrading it, then you should switch to an ultra wide. That, that's my opinion, because I, I had to use my 16x9 monitor to get some of the footage for this video, and I'm just gonna come out and say it. It is too square to use now. I've been spoiled. I've been spoiled by ultra wide monitors. I just, I can't go back. You can't go back after witnessing what ultra wide is. So, really, I believe that if you're looking to upgrade your monitor, you should go for a monitor like this because ultra wide is just incredible and it's not it's not expensive anymore like it's only about 60 or 70 dollars more than a good 1080p non ultra wide monitor which is crazy it's it's such a good price i recommend this monitor to anybody i've i've had barely any problems with it you can overclock it you can flip and send it to mars whatever i probably not and uh, it'll st it still work it, it it just works it's it's good. It's a really good monitor. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to give me a like. Make sure to tell me in the comments how I can improve. And thank you all so much for watching. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.